Following the escalating microchip shortages that have plagued electronic manufacturers, ranging from computers to toothbrushes, the electric vehicle industry has issued a warning that another year of anticipated supply shortages could cause not only manufacturing, but also infrastructure rollouts to enter a period of decline. What caused the chip shortage in the EV market and how EV companies are being impacted will be discussed in today's video. Stay tuned. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. The shortfall of semiconductor chips comes at a critical time for the electric vehicle industry, which has been gaining constant momentum around the world. The prospect of continuous progress now appears to be in jeopardy, given the possibility of delays due to chip shortages. However, it is not only the automobile manufacturers who are suffering. Companies that provide charging infrastructure are also raising the alarm because their units rely on chip technology as well. And maintaining the momentum in the rollout of public charging alternatives is a national imperative. A global shortage of automotive chips has resulted in production reductions around the globe at a time when many automakers are preparing to expand their fleets of electric vehicles. How it started. So, how did we get to this point? The short answer is that there's a COVID-19 pandemic going on. People were staying at home instead of traveling or engaging in other activities as a result of the worldwide lockdown, which has resulted in a reduction in microchip supply due to the high and persistent demand for consumer devices like computers and gaming stations, etc. When you combine that with the fact that more and more sorts of new vehicles are requiring advanced technology, demand has surpassed supply by even greater margins. Particularly relevant in the EV era, as chips are being integrated into practically every component of the vehicles, as well as the charging infrastructure that supports them. Microchips are required for the computer control of the vehicle, driver assist devices, and in the case of electric vehicles, for the battery management system. The semiconductor shortage, which was caused by a spike in demand for consumer electronics during the pandemic and for automotive technology for both electric vehicles and conventional vehicles, has had a negative impact on the automobile manufacturing industry, resulting in everything from delays in the introduction of electric vehicles to production halts of some of the most iconic automobiles in the United States for several weeks. Meanwhile, as a result of a warehouse fire, a drought, and other issues at critical chip-making facilities, the queue has grown longer and longer. The current worldwide chip scarcity might last until 2023. Infineon, a German semiconductor manufacturer, has also predicted that the global microchip market will return to normalcy by 2023, most likely. Malaysia Lockdown David Chu, vice president of Bosch China, announced on Tuesday, August 17, 2021, that the government had shut down the company's overseas semiconductor supplier in Muar, Malaysia, because of pandemic restrictions. The supply chain will be directly impacted and it was entirely shut down in August and is projected to be closed the first few weeks of September, too. Muar's facility is specialized in the production of ESP, IPB, VCU, and TCU chips. Malaysian semiconductor component shortages are on the rise because of the high amount of COVID-19 infections. For one thing, Southeast Asia doesn't traditionally have the same level of significance in the supply chain of technology as Taiwan, South Korea, or Japan. With the establishment of NXP Semiconductors NV, Infineon Technologies AG, and ST Microelectronics NV in recent years, Malaysia has emerged as a major chip testing and packaging hub. Plans to lift lockdowns and return to full production capacity are now in jeopardy because of the increase in the number of COVID-19 infections. Over 20,000 daily infections were reported, up from 5,000 in June 2021. In the event that three or more workers in the company contract COVID-19 under unofficial norms, the factory must shut down for two weeks for sanitation. It's proven to be highly contagious and hard to reverse. 
Due to the fact that testing and packaging chips are the final phases in the semiconductor manufacturing process, Malaysia's position as a prime base is important. According to the Ministry of Trade and Industry, electronics and electrical products represent 39% of total exports in Japan. It has been expected that car companies will lose $100 billion in production due to the lack of microchips. How successful these countries like Malaysia's could be in stopping further breakouts is one of the most important factors to evaluate the long-term effect of the damage. EV Companies Affected Due to the recent chip scarcity, numerous popular EVs are experiencing production delays. Ford has announced that Mach-E Mustang owners will have to wait because of semiconductor chip shortages around the world. Delays in delivery of the electric sports vehicles led the business to say that deliveries will be six weeks behind schedule. For Ford and electric vehicle proponents, the fate of the F-150 Lightning, the company's best-selling truck, is a much larger concern. Ford stated in April 2021 that it expected to lose about 1.1 million units of manufacturing this year due to the lack of semiconductors, and it estimated the loss will cost the company $2.5 billion in core earnings. Due to a lack of semiconductor-related parts caused by the COVID-19 epidemic in Malaysia, Ford Motor Company has temporarily halted manufacturing of its iconic F-150 pickup vehicle at one U.S. plant. Internal documents written in Chinese from Fao Volkswagen were leaked, suggesting that production of the Chinese-made Audi A4L and Audi A6L will be halted due to a shortage of chips. The predicted recovery in production will not occur until at least the first quarter of 2022, although this information was not confirmed by Fan Volkswagen. NIO, a Chinese electric vehicle startup, expects a global semiconductor shortage to slow vehicle deliveries. The company expected the second quarter's vehicle deliveries to be impacted by a global semiconductor shortage. A fire broke out earlier in March 2021 at a semiconductor manufacturing facility operated by Renesas Electronics Core, which controls 30% of the global market for microcontroller devices used in automobiles. It is expected that output at the factory in northeast Japan will return to normalcy in at least 100 days. NIO had anticipated that the fire's detrimental influence on the car supply chain would eat its May 2021 sales. Tesla is planning to take the unusual move of paying in advance for chips in order to ensure a steady supply of the critical materials. The company is also considering purchasing a manufacturing facility as part of its attempts to alleviate the global shortage. The plans to secure chip supply are currently being discussed by the electric car manufacturer in the United States with industry operators in Taiwan, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. The information has not yet been made public. The Conclusion If we have a continuing chip shortage for an extended period of time, it implies that the electric vehicles will not be able to be made or sold, and we will continue to have more older vehicles on the road for an extended period of time, which is bad for the environment. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the transportation sector accounted for 29% of the approximately 6.6 .6 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions produced in the U.S. in 2019. Furthermore, personal vehicles like cars, pickup trucks, SUVs, and minivans accounted for more than half of all emissions from the sector. On top of that, millions of dollars have been invested in the electric vehicle business, and it can be said that the industry is the economic driver of several countries. If the EV industry fails to deliver, this will be reflected in their stock price, resulting in the loss of billions of dollars in investment. What are your thoughts? Will the chip shortages issue be addressed in the near future? Let us know in the comments section. Ideally, Rob Ferrara would like Lucid to plan ahead and avoid the troubles that Tesla had. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.